think I now should be worried about Patrick and Robin since we still haven't heard from them. Uh, I don't know. They probably weren't able to find that stupid syringe. Which means Lisa is still safe. Safe from prosecution, safe from commitment to a mental ward, basically safe from all the consequences to her actions. Yeah, which, how she voids this whole thing is just, it's, it's a special kind of crazy. That I nut don't... makes me look normal. Normal is the valley to be wished for. Shakespeare. <laughs> I just want my brother to get over this whole emotional quagmire. I, he's just... It's, it's driving me nuts. I mean, yes, he screwed up. He should not have cheated on his wife messing around with Lisa. It's insane. But he's not the first horn dog that cheated on his wife. He shouldn't have to be walking around with his hair shirt on forever. Stop. And Whoa. What? A what? A hair shirt. Yeah, it, uh, like a clothing garment made out of animal hair or some other scratchy things. That's Why would anybody want to wear that? As penance. How do you know about this? I know all sorts of things. I am very smart. I am a brain surgeon. I wish I didn't like you so much. <laughs> what? Where, where, did, where did that come from? This whole situation with Patrick and Robin. You know, it's like big, huge alarms going off. Dare to love, and this too could happen to you. Validates all the reasons never to invest your heart. I don't know. My takeaway is a little bit different. I think, yeah, life is going to throw a bunch of curveballs at a relationship, but... Uh, it's not the important part. What is? It's the getting through. Beaten, battered, bruised, you know, whatever. Once you're on that other side, when you've made it, you're together, you're in love. All that, it's worth the risk. Thank you very much. You know, when we first met, I never would have guessed that underneath all that snark was the heart of a romantic. Oh, yeah? Well, your cynicism was right out there in front for all the world to see. And yet here we are, complete opposites, trying to make a relationship work that's doomed to fail. Doomed? Why doomed? Why do we go to doomed? Because people who are obviously perfect for each other, like Patrick and Robin, can't even make it work. So you and I definitely don't stand a chance. Why bother? Hmm. You're trying to push me away there. Thank you. Thank you? Yeah. It's like a reverse compliment because you only start to do that when you feel yourself starting to care. I'd say I'm way past starting. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Hold the bus. What's that? Come again? Don't pretend that you don't know I have feelings for you. I might be shallow, but I'm not stupid. I know a good thing when I see one. So, since you're such an advocate for true love, have you ever experienced it? Well, I don't know yet. What about your first love? Uh, definite yes to that. What was her name? Her name was Michelle. Was she pretty? Yeah, I, well, I thought so, yeah. Well, our, we were, her parents were friends with my mom, and we were... Childhood friends, so kind of grew up together. Oh, so one day you're like playing kick the can, and then the next you're at a school dance, and your heart is racing so fast you can barely breathe. W were, were you there, and I just didn't know about it? <laughs> I've known girls like Michelle, that girl that gets whoever she wants in high school. <laughs> were their hearts also broken like Michelle's was in high school? That was your fault. Yeah, well, so it was this high school party we were at, and everyone was having a good time. And then I just found myself in the basement with Janet Powell. You and dog. Things like, oh, we were in high school. These things happen. I made a mistake. It was, it was, it was what it was. But this is what I'm talking about with my brother. You know, like, you get into these situations, you give in to the moment, and, yeah, you know, it, it it ends up costing you what you love the most in the long run. It is what it is. Well, I hope she forgave you. She, well, um, yeah, she forgave me. <laughs> she, we're friends now. It's fine. It's fine. She's, she's married to Bob. They've got three kids. Happily ever after. Yay. <laughs> How about you? 
first love? Well, I didn't meet him in high school. I mean, I knew him during the time that I was in high school, but he didn't go to school with me. Did he at least take you to a dance? He actually never admitted to dating me. <laughs> he loved someone else, and I tried everything I could to convince him that we belonged together. I mean, I told some serious, life-changing, jaw-dropping lies. <laughs> Which is why I think Lisa Niles scares me so much. I feel like I'm a little bit like her. Alright, hang on. I have a feeling we are on the verge of a major breakthrough here. So, the, the, wait, this whole bad romance thing, it was... bad. <laughs> Let's just say that I... I know what it's like to stand on the outside of a couple in love and decide that I should take that guy from my own. I had managed to convince myself that I deserved him more than she did. And I slept with him knowing that every time he would regret it, which is a horrible feeling. The worst and the simplest solution is to just let the guy go but that never occurs to you so you just keep chasing him and keep telling bigger lies until eventually the bottom falls out and you're left with nothing well, I <clears throat> have enough self-respect to know that I'm not gonna go out with any needy psychotic <laughs> Toy boiling, pushing people down. I never went down. that well, far. <laughs> I know you didn't. I know. I know. I'm attracted more to girls who are smart, have confidence, and devious enough to keep things quite interesting. And uh, also helps when they are sexier than hell. Sexier than... Oh, no contest. No 